feeling pretty comfortable in those last second game winning shots or the last 10 seconds? Of the well, you know, it's my teammates, you know. Um, I think Elgin set the last screen, and that just really opened the drive for me just to, you know, make the play. But, you know, tonight was really just everybody helping each other. And, you know, we had some, some defensive plays that we didn't, you know, complete, but, you know, we're getting better and better, as you see. And we just got to go from practice and, and work hard from there. What's going through your mind when you see that screen open up and kind of you're looking for your space and then getting that shot up? Um, you know, like I said, the screens, you know, screens gets me open. And coach wants me to make a play from there, you know. And once I'm wide open right there, he say either knock it down or find, you know, the roller or the pop guy. And, you know, I'm just playing the game and just playing it the right way. Yeah. You, how big was this one, especially with 16? Well, it was real big for us. It was like a bounce back game. You know, we took a bad loss to Arizona and we just wanted to come together as a team and, you know, ride it out, grind it out. With 16, you mentioned what's your guys' mentality? I mean, is it any different than having a team? Nah, we're going to every game, think we're going to win. What did Dana kind of draw up for you guys on that last defensive possession that Julio ends up, you know, getting a hand on it? He just said play solid defense and talk, communicate, uh, don't switch. And, you know, we did the, the principles and we didn't do no switching. And we just played the, played the ball well and got a steal. Did you know, Joe, that you were, you got the 2,000 points on a, on a buck that put you ahead and then your final one got you ahead of that? Uh, I didn't know. And I wasn't worried about it. You know, main focus is, you know, get the win and, and, you know, celebrate with the team at the end. And we pulled out, you know, good defense to play at the end. And we just got to build from there. How much of a difference was it without Upshaw there in the middle for them? Uh, it was a real big difference. Upshaw, a good player. And, uh, I know when I went in there and watched him, he blocked like three or four of my shots. So when I got in the paint, I really wasn't, you know, worried about getting my my shot blocked. Just kept my eyes on the run and finish. Elgin, what's working for you offensively the last four or five games? You're averaging 16 a game now. What's working for you offensively? Uh, just execution. We executing the plays and. Uh, like I said last time, uh, every time I set like a screen, it's just every defender is collapsing on Joe, and, and it's I guess giving me room to work, and finding me. You scored down there, Elgin, to get to seventy four. It's kind of that game was back and forth. It seemed like every possession you guys were within two, and and kind of talk about your final basket there that got you guys at seventy four seventy two. Uh, I think I caught it in the post. I was just focused on the rim, and if somebody was gonna step, I was gonna make a play for my teammate. You guys built on This is two games in a row that have been kind of last possession type deals or two point games back and forth. And you pulled them both out, Joe. With kind of the young group, you building confidence in this team and kind of clutch situations. Yeah, man, I knew they had confidence from the beginning. You know, more so is just, you know, just keep maintaining, you know, that intensity on defense. And I felt like, you know, we made a lot of plays, but a lot of plays we were off. So we just gotta, you know, keep competing in practice and get and <clears throat> keep getting better. And you know, if we do that, you know, we just can keep building up. As a team and as a program. But you guys in kind of clutch situations, got two games in a row where you guys have made the plays when you needed to in kind of crunch time. Yeah, it just come down to execution. I mean, we practice it over and over in practice, so it's like repetition. I knew Joe was gonna knock it down, so it's confidence. It's starting practice. We say execution, but I mean, there's a lot of different variables you can and plays you can run. So, mm -hmm. was it a call play or was it just uh, the regular flow of the offense? On that last one, I mean, you know, you can set a screen, but yeah. I mean, it took, it was 19 seconds, I think, left, you know, you had to work with. Were you specifically going for something or just whatever about the flow of the offense? I mean, usually coach say we don't do a good job screening, so I was just focused on getting Joe open, screening his man. The shot clock was winding down there too, Joe. I don't know, you kind of set up with about six seconds left. You knew that you had to kind of find something quick or it was going to be a desperation shot. Yeah, I just, you know, coach, been getting on me about these shot clock situations and you know, not just throw a shot up. So I just put my head down and just drove to the basket and just try to create something. And you know, it was a spacing for my teammates. You know, I had a Jalil right here. If somebody would have stepped, I would have knocked, gave it to him, he would have knocked it down. You know, we just got di different variations that we can really go to. And you know, we made the play, but it's just, it's not about me, it's, it's about the team. You know, we, we fought it in on defense. Well, you're, Joseph, you're saying that it wasn't necessarily designed specifically for you whatever the offense, or was it we're going to get a screen for you and you're going to be the guy to take the shot? How? I mean, I was coming off the screen and just making a play, you know. Um, the play was Joe make a play, pass it or shoot it. And first I was going to pass it to Elgin, but they stepped out and he kind of opened the drive and I just drove it. It was wide open. 
and then address the fact that they scored 46 points in the paint? Yeah, he was pretty mad about it, but you know, like he said, he just got to go and practice, and we just got to keep, you know, fight the dribble. And like I said, we had a lot of good plays, and a lot of bad plays, and we just need to focus on our bad plays and make them better. What's, what's the mood, the difference in just maybe like what the locker room's right like or the mood between after last time you guys played Washington where it was, you know, the second loss on that trip compared to now where you guys have won four or five games and you know, it seems like you got some momentum coming? Yeah, well, it was pretty, you know, frustrated, angry because, you know, it was up by a good portion the first time we played Washington and it was pretty down, but we kept our heads up, you know, feel like, you know, we had to come home and, and put some, some wins together. And we did, and we kept our composure. And we knew, you know, we just had to come out and just play hard. And you know, Washington's a good team, and we knew they was gonna come out with, with you know, high intensity, not knowing they're smaller and they're gonna they're gonna push it at us. And they was driving it at us, and we just had to fight the dribble. And pretty good team, but you know, we pulled the ball game out. What was the message after they went on that 8 run in the second half? It seemed like second game in a row they they came out hot in the second half. Yeah, we just got to play better defense from the beginning. You know, I. I I feel like we come out relaxed. You know, I just we just need to come out more focused. We just come out like sluggish, and then we try to pick up as the game goes on in the second half.